this is an original set. This, this, the set that we did downstairs what had been replaced at some point in its life. This set is an, the very, very original. So it has the original balusters, the original treads, the original risers. And uh, we're going to start by taking off maybe the first three risers and treads. Usually uh, uh, they're made out of component pieces like this thing right here. We're going to try to snooker this up. Ones we're going to replace with are, are, full, are full treads that have the nosing. So we don't, really, we don't really need these pieces anymore. But we're getting into it. We're just going to see how it's put together. Uh, let's try to see how it's put together. There it goes. Looks like somebody came along and put extra nails in these things. All right, there's a, a baluster we can reuse. pieces are just going to wiggle out of here like that so basically we'll do it we'll do a couple of these and then we'll see what's under there it's going to be interesting to see like what's underneath here if there's anything good in here like old marbles baseball cards pennies they're probably going to end up underneath this pocket here because everything kind of falls down into the stairs over the years sometimes we find a little treasure under there here it comes we're getting back to the old stuff here Nobody's been in here since the day this stair was done in the 1870s. It's like, that's all the stuff from the original, original day of completion. <laughs> Everything that fell down in here, I don't see any treasures. So, so much for that. <laughs> and you can see this riser. Uh, they, they added little blocks onto the back of the riser when they did this it's a nice touch so with that when the treads sit on it it even had more support in the middle which is a really nice little nice little detail that they did back in the day <clears throat> these stringers were set before the, the risers and the treads were put on in the case of this piece you can look at it and you can see that from about here over the old guys didn't have a straight line here they had to gouge some of this out with their chisels to get this piece to fit really really squarely against all three components of the of the horse horses so some guy chiseled this like a madman to get it to to fit properly at some point even back then you know they were they were doing things on the fly i like finding stuff like this because it puts me in touch with you know the craftsmen of the past and uh, how they did things uh a lot of it, it's exactly the way we do it now. <laughs> Believe it or not. Same games being played. Yeah, well, we've been uh, scratching around in our... Scratching around in our ancient debris here. And we got this little tiny... Uh, oval... I think they call that a, maybe a cartouche. It's like a portrait of a woman on some kind of bead or jewelry. And a uh, long, long time ago, somebody dropped that down into the staircase and it, you know, it's been sitting there ever since. Maybe the guy that was here working when it was built, it could be the lady of the house that came along later. But uh, if we take this home and we research it enough, we'll probably figure out what it is. It's made out of like an abalone shell or whether it's a ceramic thing, but interesting little blast from the past there. A little bit of soul.